Hmm. Okay, okay. Hello, hello everyone. Hello Ignis, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I think we're still starting a little bit uh, early today, but uh, that is no matter. Because, uh, yep, I went out today and uh, the bird chipping outside, the wind, the wind is good. And uh, that is a sign for, that is a very special and very interesting thing. Very interesting day today. So, today we have a special guest with us. Because here we have uh, Ren uh, Even, who is the uh, creator of uh, VTuber Summit. Hi, I'm Ren Avum. I'm the creator of the VTuber Summit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That is a uh, short uh, introduction. So we, <laughs> yeah, so we have like a short um, stream today. And uh, I am Masur Kuro, as you know, who watched uh, my uh, channel. Anyway, yes. And... Um, <laughs> I forgot, but um, yeah, so recently, if I remember, uh, VTuber Summit has uh, released the September 29th, just like about a week ago, and mm -hmm. has also recently reached 300 downloads, and uh, also gets mm -hmm. a lot of traction, interviewed by VTuber News Network, and got uh, featured on uh, Full Side channel. <laughs> That's great. So, I played the game a little bit myself and um i was re really impressed with this game that i i thank like you. it a lot mm. thank you so yeah on on that stream i thought to myself man i really got to uh talk to this guy like i really had to talk to this guy like for one so yeah here we are today and uh he'll have ran even so let's uh let's kick kick it off Okay, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your work, what you do? Sure. So, let's see. Uh, I think, like many others, I joined in, like, that big VTuber boom back when, you know, like, the pandemic was still a thing. Yeah, like, 2021. Yeah. So, um, I joined in around that time, and then I... Uh, I wanted to get into VTubing like everyone else, but it's like, I wanted to find something that was like a creative outlet or that felt, you know, that was for me. And I felt like, I don't know, like with all of these VTubers doing, you know, all of these uh, collabs, debuts, uh, karaoke, all the typical idol fashion. It's like, sure, I could do it, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'd be fighting like, like a like a like a the whole ocean just trying to mm, mm, mm. break through so for me i um uh, as a person i just wanted to find something that allows me to be unique and that's you know fitting to me mm. and for me i have a developer background i graduated in comp sci uh, so i know a lot of programming uh like mm. i've been doing program for like nearly almost a decade it's like been eight years since mm. I graduated so, so is, I have a, you're yeah. like a full full-time developer or is mm -hmm. it like a hob hobby yeah full-time yeah and both and okay. hobbyist of course but yeah mm. Mm, I see I see mm -hmm. I also remember like uh, back in 2020s that is like when uh, indie vtuber really really blew up and yeah uh, yeah and and like back then vtuber was like this was a real deal for real mm. that's like the big that's like the big entertainment i remember like when you know i think there's like this article where they were talking about you know a dog vtuber that had a hundred that had like a million subscribers and that was like my first introduction to corona and vtubing it's like wow oh, that's a yeah. that's a thing <laughs> it's the uh, the whole whole alive vtuber yeah I, I think that's all also like how most of us like uh, back then came into this this whole thing yeah it's yeah the, yeah uh, Jay JB whole alive and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. how and that's how I got my uh, my start and how I got myself going. Mm. So um so because of 
I suppose because of that the uh, VTuber like the Surge Rising, that was like your main inspiration for making the game. Mm hmm. And it's mm -hmm. like, if I want to go into like how the game got started, you know, those, you know, how like everyone would do like PNG drops, right? Mm. Uh, I was semi obsessive over oh. those, so I would always experiment with mm. uh, new drops. It's like, how do I, how can I make this engaging? Like, I remember some was just like, uh, giving that was like the easiest one. Way. That was the easiest <laughs> that way. That was the easy way. I uh, I think I I look up to like uh, our DMs like uh, when when you commissioned me for for the art for the game back then, mm -hmm. and uh, I I think like I was also in one of the, the PNG draw, but like I couldn't even remember. Yeah, that was mm. way back I, when. I totally I totally forgot about that, but like uh, I did uh, did some uh, art for the characters in that and. Uh, Mm -hmm. Do you guys know that uh, I'm also like one of the zones boss in one parts of the game? Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, I specifically like that part. Probably like one of my favorite pieces uh, in in the game. Like uh, not not just because of uh, me in the game. That, <laughs> that's like obvious. That's like exactly why I play the game. Because like, hey, I'm I'm in I'm in the game. I, I want to see like how how I uh, get into it. And I, at first I was just like curious because like um, RPG Maker kind of, it's not really the genre of games that, that I really like. Mm -hmm. I, uh, however, I do appreciate like good story and I do like uh, turn-based uh, strategy game. Mm -hmm. I do like the, the kind of strategy game. And um, I didn't have a lot of um, expectation for this game at first i was just curious to see like how i was portrayed but like man the story it, it really it really hooks me up and i finished it, it all the way throughout like two or three days or so and i would say i uh, really good that thank was you really so much good. yeah so um talking about like the part that lead to my my part of the story because like that was a part of the story where the main character you came came to like uh, facing her problems that was like a main plus point of the story so like how did you came with the idea of the main character you okay so in terms of like the character itself it's it's a tricky thing to figure mm -hmm. out who is supposed to front lead for a game like this where there's like mm. over 100 vtubers right it's a uh, mm. like i can't just pick out one of them because like um if i were to just pick out one of them like the story would just revolve around them it would just be a fan game like that would just be around yeah. this one vtuber and it wouldn't really encompass like you know all of v2me in general so i had to th come up with a character that and front lead but it's also relatable mm. uh so mm -hmm. I took a design back from when I was still in college and uh, in a game development. Ah, I yes. drew this, on a, I drew this on a, like a like on my spare time. I, I made tomorrow my spare time, and I wanted to make a game in the future, um, like that dealt with it, a completely different uh, story and aspect. But I didn't figure out how to get that going, so I just shelved this design. So I decided to take this design, mm -hmm. revamp it. And then form them into, you know, a VTuber yeah, yeah. that is, it's like essentially just a, a blank canvas. So that way mm. anyone can, uh, you know, project themselves into uh, quite figuratively and also quite literally. So uh, it's the kind of VTuber so, that fit uh, with all all kinds of uh, VTubers. Mm -hmm. if that's, that's, that's just the, the impression I I got from you and uh the character you is uh is is very interesting because like the, the game is is about vtuber like it's it's kind of like sounds uh i expect like the game like the fan game about this like a little bit like funny and it's a gimmicky but like since <laughs> i i was kind of like vtuber myself for a long time and i'm still streaming so like a lot of the uh, worries and feelings of the main character, I do, I do really resonate with the main characters a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
yeah like when it comes to use character um i try to look at you know there, there's a lot of people post online about you know what the mm. things the things they have to go through when it comes to youtube the things they want to do mm. but then like there's always roblox here and there whether it be um from either aspects that they have to deal with in life such as mm. you know family finances or you know even school because a lot of vtubers are still young in that age yeah. but also you know they have so many dreams that they want to accomplish so to encompass all of that is what i really wanted to go with what i really what I want to go for, for when it comes to you so mm. i hope um mm. i'm glad to see that it resonated uh at least in a way that made sense yeah. it's kind of, it's hard it's really hard to encompass that in just a short 15 hour game but i'm glad that it came through uh, as intended yeah like um i i really i really like like that part of the game mm -hmm. so um speaking with the the v vtuber thing what was your experience with working with all the vtubers involved like outside it's of me really, it's like it's it's really um it's really tough to get into contact with all of the vtubers mm -hmm. like when it came to crafting their characters I, I can't really just send out 100 dms it's really tough especially when everyone's mm -hmm. busy and i'm pretty sure that when i was working on the game I, I, for better or for worse like i'm sure that a lot forgot mm -hmm. that the game existed which is i mean it's to be expected. Everyone's busy, and game development takes a long time. Mm. Uh, working with 100 VTubers, um, and like I mean, it's I even more do... more than 100 yeah. VTubers. Yeah, because they are like yeah. NPCs and stuff like that as well, and the card game as well. Yeah, yeah, the triple triad. Yeah. Uh, essentially, just a lot of research. I had to just essentially go through every single post as much as possible uh, on the PNG drop see what they're all about so yeah for every single vtuber i did whatever i could to just get a good glimpse of them and just try to figure out what they would say or what kind of personality they would have uh since i'm not able to message you know over 100 over 100 200 400 vtubers um it, it's it's a near impossible task to upkeep I just have to do my own research, just take notes, and do my best to represent their character as best as possible. When it comes to other art, things like that, I'd have to see if they have references available. Uh, if they don't, then I have to make an estimate. And when it comes to sprites, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, fun fact, a lot to... of VTubers don't show their backs, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's also a part part, yeah. Yeah, so the sprites, a lot of sprites were guesstimates um, in terms of back facing. But other than that, yeah, it's just a lot of self research just to get uh, the content of the game going. Oh, yeah, I, I can totally feel like the amount of research um, going into the VTubers, like not not just on a uh, sur surface level either. Like, I can feel like there, there are some VTubers that does the kind of like interact with each other, like uh, IRL. Mm -hmm. Or some something like that, and and lore as well. At least like uh, when when it comes to I I like like when when uh, only specifically to to my characters. Like uh, mm -hmm. I I probably don't show in like mass the uh, metaphor like every two seconds, but uh, that's a few yeah. parts where I quote my own like. Um, debut video line that that was kind, <laughs> kind of interesting and yeah i i cringed i cringed every single second i heard myself say that because that's like that's what so, i got <laughs> that's so that is so edgy and um yeah and the part where i uh interact with uh d storm moon killers as well like he is my <laughs> um yeah v vtuber children and yeah. in the way like i interest interact with that character is interesting because like it's so it's so accurate like the, <laughs> the, the banter like it's so so freaking accurate like after i show show d that one because like here's the thing when i do that quest i have to like the, the party has to take me to d yeah and then give, give him like the mask right and then um i have to walk to all the way back to where i was and I'm just, mm -hmm. just, uh, talk to Dia like, thanks, son, you little dipshit. 
<laughs> it's like you're welcome. That's so yeah. accurate. I, I love I love that bit. Like uh, that's just so like um, I mean there there are parts uh, where it cannot be perfect in terms of interaction, but like I feel like there mm. are a lot of like uh, research yeah. of the VTubers uh, going going around. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you liked the quest. Like that was one I actually personally enjoyed programming. I asked uh, D about what he wanted for his stuff, and he's like, "Yeah." I, I asked him personally. He's like, "Okay, we can do that." And then the interactions, I just, I just based off of what he what he would say, knowing him, it's like <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that, something he would say. Yeah, that's great because, like, uh, I think my my um, impression of me working with. Uh, getting involved with this project is like I I have no idea what's going on. Like I'm just oh, uh, yeah. I, because like I, I would I would just uh, I was just commissioned. Like I just I just say this is just like another commission job. So I just just do a thing. So like uh, <laughs> I don't really yeah. have anything at all. So like I go into this game completely blind. I, I don't know anything. <laughs> at all. Yeah. So so that's great. And um, not just the um, the research in. Especially the research into VTubers, I can also feel like um, a lot of um, feelings toward the uh, VTubers involved. Mm -hmm. Because like mm -hmm. um, back in 20, 2020s, that was like uh, the uh, VTuber rising and, yep. and all kind of stuff. Like, And uh, a lot of us still still thinks that uh, back in 2020, that was the golden age. That was the golden yeah. age and, and past that anyone for me anyone using hashtag vtuber rising after that is not legit <laughs> and <laughs> yeah and um that, that was great because like the running to to the game especially to the parts to the graveyard to my my bits it really mm -hmm. kind of like somewhat reminds me of uh my feeling back in uh late 2020 like early 2021 it was uh really great so like what's what's your general impression about the whole vtuber scene like both corpo mm. and indie throughout mm. the past three years mm. like, you know you know it's like the past three years like you know it's a lot of there's a lot of factors when it comes to that uh if i were to break it down for for corpo i mean they got the money they'll be able to keep going with their stuff but at the same time Aside from, you know, like the big, like the big, the big ones like Hollow Light, Niji, B Shoujo, like there's been a lot of, you know, new corporal VTubers trying to, uh, trying to make it, uh, new agencies, uh, just trying to make their mark. And mm. I, I think there's just been a lot of, you know, those trying to follow in the footsteps of the Titans. Um, so that, so in terms of progression of VTubers there, there's definitely, a lot going on but in terms of the indie scene it fluctuates so much mm -hmm. like in terms of redesigns in terms of graduations it happens so frequently that whenever i go like back on back on the topic of research when i try to visit uh vtubers page i'm saying it's like wait that's not the v that's not the png you dropped you change your face change your name it just uh yeah because like uh, the, yeah. the vtuber has more flexible on, on the design and uh, mm -hmm. to, to to the vtuber like cha changing the models and design and stuff over over the time is just it's just as simple as changing clothes yeah and yeah uh, it's it's like three years like a lot of, a lot of stuff happened like a lot of uh, vtubers a lot of, uh, really moves fast. graduate a lot of vtuber they debuted and like a lot a lot of stuff happened yeah it's like it, it, it was one of the difficulties when it came to making the game. It's just, it just moves so fast. Indie, whether it be indie or corpo, uh, in terms of the two, um, it's like they're different. But I also wanted to invite it. You know, we're also all VTubers at the end of the day, and mm. I hope with this, one of the hopes that I have with this game is to bridge, um, in a way, that gap between. Uh, Indie and Corpo. We're going to like spoilers here, but um, yeah. um it's the like um, the the end game. Like, mm -hmm. like, like you you played to you played it you played toward the end. You yes, already I, know. I uh, I have finished it my first playthrough. Yeah. I I beat I beat yeah. the final boss and I have finished the first playthrough. So so I get like what what the story is kind of like. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah that was that was the goal when it came to uh indie indie corpo just uh trying to encompass all of that and just trying to you know trying to get uh my i mean my feelings towards it is that it's like it's it's ever changing but mm -hmm. it's gonna keep going no matter what so at at the end of the day it's like let's let's you know let's do our best to keep improving ourselves improving each other uh whether indie or co corporal so that way we can just you know keep v tubing going alive um uh, and evolving so yeah that's my thoughts on that <laughs> mm, like um yeah i i think i think that's that's an interesting one mm -hmm. <clears throat> like uh yeah um i i forgot like I, 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 I really, I really stuck on on that part where uh, at, at the graveyard. I, I remember, like the the part of graveyards. There's like a specific part at that is is a graveyard, like dedicated mm -hmm. for graduated mm -hmm. VTubers, mm -hmm. and that that's like that's probably like one of the reason I still I still keep the game in in my PC, like. Mm. It's um like when before I go into the final boss, like I take I take a look uh, like a closer look at the graveyard, and mm. I go through like all the names. Like I see uh, Mr. Rias and Nora Vesper and mm. and so and I also like see Gibara because Gibara is also uh, one. It's also one one of the reason why I got hooked into VTubers in the first place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also, uh, alongside with with that graveyard, there's also like uh, ghosts of the character as well, mm -hmm. and um, like a lot, a lot of the struggles are are re very, very real. Mm -hmm. And uh, how how is your ex experience with uh, doing doing the whole V V two B? Like I, you know, the past few years. it's it's um, I can't really speak for myself in terms of you know uh, the traditional VTubing and content creation because I've been just helping this game for the longest time, um, but it's not. But that doesn't come without its own struggles as well. It's still a form of content creation, and even then, like when it came to making the game, I had myself doubts whether or not I could do it. Um, I guess that applies for any medium, really, whether um, content creation or game development. Um, you know, there's other games out there that feature VTubers that are that are, that are much more bigger than the ones that are in the pool that I'm working with, and they have so much success. And I'm like, I admire that. And at the mm -hmm. same time, it's like it, it's a bit of imposter syndrome. It's like I don't know if I can make a game as meaningful as that, and um uh you know i relate to that uh, I, re I relate to that part of the game as well it's like i have my own struggles and i feel mm -hmm. like that sometimes i'm not good enough but it's um it's at the same at the same time it's like if you give up and throw in the towel there that that's it like you're not gonna go it's, anywhere else like it's exactly what uh more like uh says in in that one song like mm -hmm. that that one song I, I forgot the name but like hmm. she she said she said on that one song and and that shook everyone a little bit there like uh stop stop tweeting start creating <laughs> that line oh, that man. that one that one is like yeah per yeah perfect. that was yeah. a big one mm, that think, was a big that one. was like that was like i think that was still around I, that was released around 2021 like early that was like pre that, that was pretty early yeah. Yeah, and it sh I I I think it shook a lot of people up, and it's like, and she's not wrong. It just she's not wrong at uh, all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually um, I I still remember that. I forgot I forgot the name of the song, but I I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It's yeah. the. Um, it's I I don't it's I don't still, remember that song either. But like yeah. that that line, that that one line. Yeah. That one. Like, that that's one like. Yeah. I relate to that hard. It's like. And that's what kept me going. It's like you, you gotta, you just gotta, you gotta make, you just gotta make stuff. You gotta make it. Yep. If you don't, it's like, you know, you have, you have to put the effort. And 
even if it doesn't produce results, the fact that you you went out of your comfort zone, put the effort to keep moving forward, it's um that's what's gonna get you out of that mentality that you can't do it because if you do it and you've already done it it's like then what then what can you say in your head it's like you can't say that you can't do it because you already did it so um so that's what uh that's my thoughts on self struggles um and it's just yeah it, those struggles are very real um uh, in that in that whole section of the game uh, I fo- I made sure to focus on that. Um, it, like, even now, like because a lot of a lot of a lot of YouTubers still struggle with that. But those are thoughts, you know, mm. just best left forgotten. Just try to move forward from that. Um, yeah, I and, think like uh, you want to get in place. yeah, I I think a, a lot of nowadays that uh, there are a lot more YouTubers that pops up and yeah. Uh, like it's got it's gotten really 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 big over the past like two years Mm -hmm. it's Mm -hmm. um like you you can just scroll scroll on twitter and you will see you will see a new vtuber every day Mm -hmm. and uh you know like the thing is there are a lot of vtubers who uh also just just want just want to to do it because of fun Mm -hmm. right and uh that that is like totally legit Mm -hmm. but like um I feel like because of like we we have a lot of VTuber that pops up, that means like uh, so there's like two sides of it, right? That means like there's yeah. a lot of people that pops up that is like really really good uh, mm-hmm. stuff, right? But then there's also a lot of VTubers that are very uh, like um lacking efforts or like low quality. Just mm. they just. It didn't have that uh, same, uh, same same kind of effort, mm. right? Mm-hmm. It's like um, it's like either you know, I think there's a lot of knowledge. Um, it depends on the knowledge that you have going in. Um, mm. like, and it's important to always to always keep learning to like improve, even if it's not for like. For like uh to be even if i'm trying to be serious it's like uh as a vtuber it's like still um it's good to to learn and the knowledge that you have it is what will um distinguish you from the rest and it's it is kind of weird like it's like it's like we're like a lot of a lot of them are doing for fun but then it's like you know this eventually some are able to cross the threshold from doing it for fun to turn it to something that they really want to do. It's uh it is a dichotomy in that sense. I agree with that. Yeah, so uh we we're, we're having like um side sidetrack a little bit from mm. from oh, the yeah. game here. So like uh get back to the game. So mm. like out of these one hundred plus like VTubers, like which one or which part like which vtuber which part of the game that do you uh like the most or do you enjoy the most or or something like that? out of the hundred like e- well, two two out of the entire game throughout the entire game I mean, obviously, you know, there's this one VTuber called uh, Masanori Kuro. Have you heard of him? <laughs> okay. Mm, I, I, I definitely have, have never heard of him before, yeah. but... Mm. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. well, but, no, but for real, like, uh, there, mm. there's two particular fights, or well, yours, because um, I, I've been watching streams of, mm. and whenever people get to that fight, they're like, oh, no, I should have not picked those up. Because, like, when you get to second phase, and it's like, oh... <gasps> Oh! Oh yeah, I I do get oh, in. Man. I do get that. Like, it's like, <laughs> but that <laughs> that boss fight that. is is also <laughs> really cool. So like, just just sum up the whole boss fight thing. So like, the thing about this whole character of me in the game, right? So it's also like one one of my favorite characters in the game. Like, mm. there there are one hundred VTubers, right? But like, I have I have a feeling that I got the bigger piece of the pie than <laughs> a, a lot of other because like a several reason and uh it's 
I'm, I'm a zone boss. That is a thing. <laughs> I'm a like, ma major boss in the game. Uh, I'm in a major part with the the plot plot twist in the game, like the uh, graveyard area where mm -hmm. um, the character goes goes there and find themselves uh, like uh, the the will to to move on. And mm -hmm. um, like my my appearance is also kind of like teased like pretty early in the game as well with the part where the 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 main character parties meet up with D Storm. Mm -hmm. where they uh, pick up the mask and like mm -hmm. uh, the part where, where they like pick up the mask like throughout the game is yeah. uh, also like a, a step up to it and then <laughs> the the fight is also interesting as well yeah because like um i uh my my whole shebang is to be able to change masks but i never imagined like i would be able to like summon my mask like as puppet like that 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 was like really, really <laughs> cool that's really yeah cool. yeah it's I like, like i i was i i, I because because you, i because you have so many forms with your mask it's like mm -hmm. how can i integrate this in a way that you know represents you best and i i also i was also a little mean because like mm -hmm. like uh because you can because the you can it's optional to pick up the mask it, like it warns it's like you yeah, want to like, pick this it, up you, you can sure? you can totally just like miss miss out on the mask yeah that that's a thing. but it makes the fight easier if you don't pick them up but nobody yeah. knows at the first run <laughs> yeah like uh it's it's an item like i i was so i was so confused because i, I pick up the mask and i was just like wait like no no characters can wear it like what the hell yeah <laughs> right yeah it's weird <laughs> it's, it's so it's like, weird what? like it's not not equipable like I, it was really cool it was equipable but like i think that would just make it more broken <laughs> yeah. yeah no they're they're all meant for one character but mm -hmm. only if you only if you're in the know most people yeah. aren't so like when they when they encounter they, they that, just pick, they just pick the it boss, up they just pick it up the they just item, pick it up item just pick it up and when the time comes like oh i should have not done <laughs> mm, yeah that's interesting right. but yeah no. it, it's a it's also a risk reward system so it's mm. like uh, that's that's also one of the re reasons why that's part my favorite parts is like if you pick up the masks and you defeat them you get a bunch you get a bunch of bits yeah uh, as a trade off yeah that yeah. character was super bonkers like <laughs> probably not like I I would like to play as myself but man the character is super bonkers like you can you have mask chains that doesn't cost a turn you can <laughs> change it to uh, DPS tank uh debuffer healer which each yeah. of those can apply like in an element alongside mm -hmm. with dark engine which is like super good again like late game enemy with a holy element mm -hmm. and have like a dark uh element attacks like that that's pretty that's pretty strong that's pretty strong and yeah like i have been uh watching to the, the progress of, like vtuber summit like past these recent day and i'm just like keep checking when when do i get nerfed <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so, I, I think i yeah it's like but but yeah that's that's one that's um that was one of my favorite parts but the other favorite mm. part you know is the the zone boss that you fight before that um mm, was it like joy, it was a joy. yeah yeah so it's like it's a the, i it, um that's a midpoint character i wanted to build up a lot of hype uh and build like this this uh pseudo villain uh you know like just the bridge she is, between um she's like yeah uh, the uh a, a big rival at that point mm -hmm. like it was uh built up a uh quite a bit into it yeah and, uh, she she has she has a lot of screen time as well yeah like i wanted like narratively uh they're they're my favorite because uh i wanted to you know build up like all of the because there's a lot of there's some there's some uh it, there's some vtubers out there that just have really really just have a lot of amino mm -hmm. and amino up they just don't like other vtubers um uh for whatever reason or because you know maybe they've been betrayed or hurt by others and it's like there's oh, a lot yeah. of is that is that's a part of the story that, that i really broken. like as well yeah yeah it's like so i wanted to i wanted to represent that struggle but also you know give hope give hope at the end of the day um she's like it's like a, the kind of uh vtuber yeah. who was wrong doing yeah okay so, yeah. yeah 
it's like so it's it's one of my favorite parts of the game and mm. that i really wanted to really amplify intensify that fight and yeah uh, <laughs> definitely one of my favorites uh to work just even work yeah, on in general, i, I can tell, i can i can kind of tell like um joy <laughs> yeah. joy does have some uh, interesting uh, ability to herself as well like uh, i oh, think like yeah. namely especially like her equipment because the thing mm -hmm. is like i actually don't really use i don't use joy personal like mm -hmm. I, I have the other team but like the thing is like joy uh, equipment is pretty interesting like her her sword is better than the main character weapon at the mm -hmm. beginning like the, the main mm -hmm. we character weapon it just uh, it just trauma anything that you can buy buy at the shop so it's like mm -hmm. having a hard time uh looking for weapons that that is better so like when, mm -hmm. when i have joy and i have a weapon and because like i don't use joy i just like take joy's weapon and it's just mm -hmm. better and yeah. her her armor is also mm -hmm. it's also pretty good like that's like one damage negation and since yeah. the main character gains a lot of um aggro that that mm -hmm. is pretty good like one damage negation per turn that's pretty yep. good pretty good and, um yeah do, do you know know joy like personally oh yeah joy and i go way back like right around this uh we met around the same time where um oh, really? the big vtuber boom mm -hmm. was happening so uh yeah so so i i do know her and mm. <laughs> so uh, maybe it maybe it's a bit of bias of how i worked on the character but at the same time uh with the way that the game is structured um with elements and bosses i really wanted someone you know that's powerful mm. someone that really has that fiery I, spirit i um, think if so. there's anyone in the game that takes uh that could take the, the kind of like heavy role as mm -hmm. to like uh tanking the whole um like being a wrongdoing character is that just being there mm -hmm. uh to uh to at, at the same time like uh, stomp the main character now just so they can get back up i think like uh i mean it, it, you know joy as a person i i think like i i, I think like there, there is no no one better for, for that mm -hmm. honestly mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah, so those are my <laughs> mm. two favorite two favorite part two favorite fights mm. in the game. But out, of course, outside there's, there's, that, yeah. like outside that, is there any other one like specific one? Um, I think okay, <laughs> I think mm -hmm. um, Sagiki, but I mean they have great abilities, but I I didn't expect on release. Which, that which one? Which one was it again? Like this was in the beginning. This was in the baby starter area. I think the fifth fight, the fifth. and. Was this a? Uh, I honestly one hundred pink hair. I, I I don't really remember much of them. Uh, okay. Um. So so they they specialize in snacks. So the thing they ah, do they toss right, cupcakes that one, and food that poisoning. One, that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're good in their own ability in their own right. But I think mm. what I really found really interesting on release is that a number of a uh, number of people uh, playing the game had a lot of trouble against her, and I'm just like. Oh, <laughs> like I hmm. that that was a the part that I was struggle as well. Like I I was so <laughs> I was so ready to quit there. Like there's so <laughs> there's so many character just like just stun my entire team, and they yeah. go first. They just go first, <laughs> and I and they just, just keep stun locking me, and I cannot do anything about it. But then <laughs> um, I I think I I, I got past that like at that point i was like no i'm just gonna start on potion and i'm just going to chuck the potion like <laughs> it's it's so cheesy but it worked like i okay this is this is dark soul rpg i'm just gonna keep chucking potion i'm just gonna <laughs> tang it out and then at, at that part at the zone boss number one you guys mm. know who we meet ran even <laughs> yeah like at, at that part, that that was the part where uh, it it really it really hooked me up because like the first mm. time I see that uh, zone bot cutscene plays out, boom and it just like everything is cracking and and just like, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Like, I love that. I love that that part. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a part that really hooked me up. 
I, d I did my best to keep that secret under wraps. Like, even mm -hmm. if you if you go back to the direct, I don't talk about who the first zone boss is. You don't see who that is yeah, at like, all. It's like, I, if I remember, so I'm glad I, I you enjoyed the, the surprise. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched the um, in introduction video. Like, there's no no talk about that at all. Like, I uh, because like I, I watched everything about it. Like, this seemed like a normal RPG maker game, but like the mm. story is so so really good. Like, mm -hmm. um, do in terms of like making the game, like, do you have any kind of struggles, like, while making the game? What is your biggest struggles while making the game? Oh, yeah. So, in terms of like technical struggles, like working with RPG Maker, it's, um, uh, it's very, it's while it's so, it, while it's very versatile, there's a lot of times where I have to fight the engine itself just to just. Oh. Just to get things going and the fact that you know um i don't know how to do tile sets or know anyone that can do tile sets in a way that are, that's very cohesive i was stuck with you know the the ready to play packages so all the tile sets are more or less default which um yeah, yeah. I, I wish i could have given more of my identity with with more unique like uh, unique art styles and everything yeah it's like it's one of the struggles i had to work with it's like um i'm stuck i'm, I'm stuck with what i got mm -hmm. so i had to really just make the best with those limitations and the fact that it's rpg maker it's like it's um yeah there's there's um there's only so much that i can do and like there's a lot of there's a lot of plugins out there but there's a lot of things i wish i could have implemented um some features I could have implemented for release, but because of said limitations, it's uh, it's hard. Um, but don't get me wrong; it's still a very versatile engine. It's just um, if there's more that I wanted to do, I'd have to really go out of my way to make it happen. I uh, I I think like when when I uh, finish a game, I also uh, tweet something that uh, said like overall with the game that I um, again like. Uh, RPG Maker is um, not really the genre that I usually play because mm. it's like uh, most of the R RPG Maker genres that I see is uh, it, they look the same. It's like a default package. It's uh, yeah. the UI and, and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, I I do have like some experience with like RPG Maker myself. Like uh, mm -hmm. I used it quite a bit back in the day and I do try to make like games like uh, once or twice but like the 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 system of the engine it, it really is kind of like um limited mm -hmm. but yeah. i also do have to say that i i think because of of the limitation despite the limitation of that i think like the strongest point of it is that uh, it can create like really good story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it can just jump right in and that's one of the reasons why i decided to opt for rpg maker because if i'm gonna do you know like a game Action with like game over or something like like here like 100 vtubers what game can i do what what engine can i use that can accommodate all of that like if i were trying to try to do it in unity or unreal it's like no <laughs> you'll never see this game so oh, it's yeah. like uh yeah so rpg Does, maker yeah it provides you like a, a groundwork mm -hmm. it's, and I, it's like yeah it's like so i had to really i had to really just take it as it is just to make it work mm. and and it worked out for, uh, fortunately enough so uh, yeah and i think i think that that works out that was out uh real great like there are some some scenes that really I, i'm like just genuinely impressed at the at the bridge part after uh joy mm -hmm. fight like uh, the the bridge just the, the bridge just broken down like i didn't know it can do that yeah, yeah no, I, 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 I really like to push the engine to the limit. Yeah, make that, that work. That was great. That was great. <laughs> that was besides like, like uh, I like really it. interesting. Yeah. So, um, besides of that, like, um, how do you feel about the game in general? Um, like, um, I feel like I, I'm glad that. I'm glad that people are enjoying like your, it and... your experience with the game and like uh mm -hmm. like you, you haven't developing this game like ever since like probably say like three years right so uh it's like like your, your like, general experience 
with it. Like for me, like like this is a uh, you know like like working on this game so long. It's like yeah, it's like I'm just glad that I was able to finish it. It's like it's it's my baby. It's it's here. Everyone gets to play. Um, mm -hmm. It and it's great. I'm I'm really glad that uh, I, I'm really happy. I'm re I'm really ha I'm really happy for the game. It's it's uh, there. Uh, if there is anything I do want to say about it, though, it's like I feel like I wish I could have done more. Um, there's a lot of things um, that I wish I could have done more for the game. But can you name because it specific? Do you remember that one zone um, where you have to like fly across the different islands? Oh yeah, that one. I I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I there was I yeah there was like um I remember that so there was like uh that island where I actually tweeted out that I got stuck there for one there was nothing on it right it was like a triangular shaped island right no 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 it was like um so like the the island progresses is like a number like thirty one and two thirty two mm -hmm. thirty three right so mm -hmm. like I think like at the thirty six you're meant to be like go back there's it was like a path that jump back to 32 and then yeah. go to 31 and mm -hmm. then that's where i got i think that's where i got stuck because like the, yeah. 30, the 36 like you go right and you go into like a triangle one and just like it it looks like a, a pointer arrow but like, i can't i can't figure out like what it is it's just like an empty... so, so that so yeah that specifically that was supposed to be for something that got cut. Oh. Um, oh, there's really? supposed to be a puzzle there. So oh. it's confusing when anyone goes to that island. It's like, what is this for? And it's like, and they just like, they just, they just have to skip over it. Um, yeah, there's like, something that was supposed to be there. It's, it's like a very suggestive shape. It's like an arrow. Like I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it is. Mm, so like, yeah. uh, it took me like a while, like running back and forth. And uh, when I got back, I totally figured out. Like, I, I just have to backtrack because there's a path like behind 31 that takes me back mm -hmm. and block the four orbs there. Now that took yeah. that took a bit of while. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but that's just one example of like, I wish I could of how I wish I could have added more to it. Mm -hmm. um, like, especially in the latter half of the game where, you know. Um, where you see, we have those, you know, you know, those VTubers mm. um, that show up on on the frontier. It's like mm. I wanted to do more quest lines for them, um, have actual battles and have some of them playable. Um, but I just couldn't do any of that in time. Uh, I mean, the game is complete, but there's so much more I want to do with it. If that, if I were to sum is, it up. Is yeah. that at, at the part where you feel like uh, it's uh, you don't you're are you kind of stuck at that part where um, it's, it's kind of playable, but uh, it's kind of like generally stuck? No, I mean, in terms of like after, you know, after chapter six, when I, I really don't, I'm really, I'm really trying not to spoil anything. Like, is that the you'll part see with that joy or is that a part with the uh, ice uh, area? I think it's like the the ice area. There's a there's a. Um, there's more VTubers that I wanted to uh, just include. I, I wish I could have just done more. Um, mm. if, if, if anything, I, I wish I could have just done a lot more. But uh, I'm just glad that um, that everyone was able to enjoy it with what they have. It's still complete. It's still it's still a complete package. Mm, um, yeah, yeah. But I wish I could have put. I just I wish I could put just a little bit more into it. Um, if, if, oh, if that answers yeah, your I, question i feel like the the game was like a com it's at the point where it's complete enough okay well that's yeah, good it, it was it was at the point where it's i i feel like it's other coin is complete enough i do feel like uh, after my zone like uh, the story is kind of like a linear down to like save the world kind mm -hmm. kind of story but like I, I feel like that that's a part where I just kind of like just rush down to the final boss because you kind of have that adrenaline. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm surprised. Like a lot of people just y'all stay up at 3 a.m. to play. It's like, no. It's like, but yeah. I I play that game. I think I stay up at like 5 a.m. or something. Oh my because, god. Because I, I thought that I couldn't just like play it in one sitting. 
<laughs> but like I, I look at the clock. I was at the um, I was at like a boulder uh, at like chapter nine or something. I realized that uh, oh, it's it's five a.m. I need to go to s- <laughs> I need I need to go to sleep. Oh so my god! So I, I can just and then uh, the next morning I I finish it, and then yeah. I think like at at that uh, that night I also have like collab with uh, Elden Ring collab. <laughs> yeah, that must have been fun. <laughs> That's uh, that that was still still an interesting experience. Like the the whole my whole experience with like the game is is like very interesting. It it uh, it ran to me with a lot of thoughts and yeah, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I did uh, stay up uh, quite a little bit late. Um, mm. <laughs> let's see. So like, uh, what's your um? So so now that the game is released, what's your your mm-hmm. next next plan? Like uh, with the game and outside of the game. Let's see. So uh, I'll answer it in reverse. So outside of the game, I do have something cooked up. Um, mm. for me personally, um, I do want to um just make video content because I've been just developing this game so for so long that I want to do other stuff on the side and just have a breather so yeah, i see i see have a have a bit of a palate cleanser um i do have a new model yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, uh, a break it's like a break just uh, just, just a project. small break period yeah yeah work on other projects uh i have a new model waiting in store oh, interesting. Uh, that i want to reveal uh but that'll be sometime at the beginning of next year uh, mm. but e- but even then with the outside projects i'll still be working on the game i do have i'll, I'll be doing Right now, I'm just doing bug fixes. Uh, anything mm-hmm. that bashes the game, I'm just trying to patch out as much as possible, so that way, if anyone runs into anything, mm-hmm. um, that won't it, it it won't sour the experience. Um, and just squashing as much as I can. After that, um, because there's a there's been so many attention, there's so much attention on the game now. I feel mm-hmm. like that I can go ahead and continue and add and work on new content. Uh, whether mm-hmm. it be new features or even new VTubers, actually, I was on. Um, I was up till late last night typing a document, trying mm-hmm. to just plan out uh, DLC for the future, oh, new modes, all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, you, you heard it here first. <laughs> there'll be <laughs> there'll right, be more right. to come in the first. <laughs> there'll be more coming in the future. Here first. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, but. Yeah, that's that's my plans for the upcoming year or so in terms of just where I'm planning to go with content, uh, new model and new DLC for the game. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. <laughs> All right, that's some uh, an interesting. Uh semi announcement there. Uh, we're all uh, <laughs> totally we're to- totally looking forward to that. Thank and um, I think uh, this will be like like the last one. So mm-hmm. like, um, do you have anything to say to like uh, maybe uh, budding the uh, game developers or and or like VTubers in general? Um, As a final, if, if you're going in, if you're going in, um, enjoy the process, have fun, and you know just just go for it. Just even if it's like. Even if it's your first model or your first game, just have just have fun learning it. Uh, if you're if you're new to the scene, um, yeah, just enjoy the process. Learn what you can, um, mm-hmm. and if you can if you can complete the work that you're trying to do, like if it's for a game, even if it's a short game, you know, go for it, make it um, because it's going to give you experience and and just you'll be able to gauge how much you want to do with what you're doing or if you want to pursue other creative stuff just just make just make it just do like rpg maker usually goes on sale for like okay. like usually on <laughs> steam sales or summer winter oh, sales yeah. it, it comes cheap like yeah. like even at rpg maker mb just make a game like mm, like awesome. go out there like you can like you have the freedom to create yeah, like um, so, I encourage you. I encourage budding developers, VTubers, to 
just have fun go for it don't think too much about whether or not you'll be like big or not just focus on you know just having fun all right that's just uh right that's that's some uh encouraging words from the to creator of the vtuber summit <laughs> and uh that's pretty awesome that's um Y'all heard here first, like uh, maybe there's new content or maybe you don't, but uh, you can uh, uh, download the uh, VTuber Summit on uh, it's.io and mm -hmm. sort, sort of stuff like that. And uh, you can also like join uh, Ren Discord for VTuber Summit if you want to have like a discussion, like uh, feedbacks mm -hmm. on the game as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for, for that said, like, uh, I want to hold hostess for longer. I think, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. For, oh, thank you, Toro. Yeah, it's been a great but, interview. Thank I, you. I have been want, wanted to have this conversation, like, since I uh, finished the game. Like, it's, it's really <laughs> interesting. And uh, I am uh, also, like, uh, pretty, uh, pretty honored to be, like, uh, part of, like, just a, a bit part of the game mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank you. Yes, 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 yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, it's like uh, I think uh, that's uh, enough to wrap up for this interview today. Thank you everyone for coming. Um, we will have like uh, a stream on next Tuesday. So uh, I will see everyone later. Let's go to this. Let's roll credit. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>